she said, do you think you could help people if like necessary, if you're in the exit row? And I said, oh yes, of course. And I could, like if, if I really was feeling generous in that moment of life or death. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. Today, we are doing something very exciting. Also, okay, it's so funny. A lot of you found me in that video where I said I was gonna stop saying that. I had a couple of you comment and a couple people reach out to me on Instagram saying that they found me from my vlogs. <laughs> so, maybe I do need to keep introducing myself in my vlogs. Maybe it's good luck when I introduce myself in my vlogs, but, um, my name is Jazzy, if you're new here. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I am going to do something today that we've never done together before. And it is feeling a little sacrilege, if you know how much I love Duncan. But we're going to Starbucks. <laughs> because first of all, you guys all know how much I love Duncan, but how much I think Starbucks is better than Duncan, infinitely better than Duncan, like quality wise. But I'm also poor, so I never usually go unless I have a coupon for like buy one get one or a half off coupon or if I get a gift card from a friend and I got a gift card today so we might have actually went in the past when I got a gift card in the past from a friend but I oh my gosh you guys every all of these people are walking home from school right now around me and they are just looking right in the car they're thinking I'm looking crazy and they're thinking they're in my video <laughs> because they are oh my gosh you guys literally surrounding my car that was embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. Nobody else is coming, apparently. It was just one group of people. They must have just got dropped off, which is crazy. Well, I guess it is 3 p.m. Okay, I said good morning, you guys. Just, they're really they're really selling me out here and letting you guys know that I'm checking in way later than I should be. But it's really afternoon. It is 3 p.m. So that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm concerned there's going to be more of them. So I'm going to go to Starbucks right now. The kid was literally looking me right in the face. But I forget that, like, this is their generation. Their generation films stuff. So, like, they're Gucci. <laughs> like, he looked at me, but he didn't look like he was, like, judging or anything, you know? But, um, yeah, that was a little embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. I am being very brave, you guys. I'm wearing this white sweatshirt, which is a huge mistake when it comes to going to get coffee but I feel like I'll be okay I think I can do it and if I get anything on the sweatshirt I will be so sad because it's actually so comfortable so comfortable like the best fit ever it's really oversized like on the bottom part which I love it just it's very like cozy on the inside it's a gildan sweater so that's kind of confusing to me unless they just didn't wash it because I've gotten gilded in the past from companies, like when I got my merch from Taylor, like it was fan-made merch, and I felt like the sweatshirt wasn't as comfortable. Like it was comfortable, but it wasn't this soft. So maybe the fan-made one, she washed it prior to sending it to me so it didn't feel as soft, but this feels just like so soft and cozy on the inside. So I can't recommend this girl shop enough, but I'm gonna go there now and I'll check in with you guys after. Okay, you guys, so I, placed my order online and I accidentally uh placed it to go in <laughs> so I had to pull up and tell her I mean I knew they would be fine because Starbucks there's just some places you can do it at <laughs> and Starbucks is one of them so I said I'm so sorry I placed it online and I'm wearing my slippers which is the truth <laughs> I do not want to go in in my slippers but I would if I had to if she said sorry, which is something that Wendy's did to me a couple of months ago now. And I have not been back to Wendy's since because it pissed me so off <laughs> because I placed my order online and I accidentally placed it for inside. And I had literally, when I tell you I placed it seconds, seconds before I pulled through the drive-thru, which I know was wrong, but I knew, I also knew I placed it online. So you guys, this thing is choking me out whenever I am in the car and sit on it. It chokes me. But um, I knew that I, if I got to the drive through like fast enough that they'd be able to fix that situation, you'd think, right? Um, and I had Sunday with me. So I pulled through and I'm like, hey, is there any way that I can pick up my order through the drive through I'm so sorry. I accidentally placed it for 
um pick up like in store and he and he was like refused and I was like okay but like I had my dog with me and I actually got rude to this guy and I don't get rude very often to the employees but I was just like I just placed it a second ago like I know you haven't made it yet and he's like it's already sitting up there I'm like there's just no way I'm sorry but I was sitting right here and pulled right through the second I hit the order button you probably haven't even gotten the order yet <laughs> and uh he's like no you absolutely can't and I was like okay so what do you want me to do because I have my dog with me and he's like you can bring your dog in there's a spot that you can stand with your dog <laughs> I was like oh my god so I actually just left which was a huge mistake on my part because I used a reward to pay for it so it was like free anyway so he got my burger probably but whatever I mean I know he could make his own burger he's right <laughs> my mom's like he's probably eating on your burger right now but really they probably eat for free there but it was just so frustrating because it's just like people like that that don't try and work with you when a situation goes on like if I didn't have Sunday I would have just went in and picked my order up because I do it all the time with um DoorDash obviously but I'm gonna be at the window in a second so I'll check in with you guys after you guys I shit you not I have had my order for less than three seconds and I already got some on my sweatshirt <laughs> so we are not having a good time over here I wasn't planning on getting a okay first of all look at it it's so beautiful <laughs> but I wasn't planning on getting like a um cold beverage I was planning on getting a hot one so I assumed I wouldn't be spilling it on myself but here we are spilling it on ourselves anyway we're just gonna take the first sip together because I'm too nervous to drink this with this sweatshirt on mm. 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 okay I ended up getting the peppermint mocha mistakes were made <laughs> I don't like it mm -hmm. bummer oh well I mean it's good it's just not like it was supposed to be peppermint mocha frappuccino mm. Mm. yeah okay I mean it's good it's nothing special it's really good actually <laughs> okay well this was a real roller coaster here it's actually really good it's just I'm scared of it I think <laughs> I'm scared of it and I just got a brain freeze oh my god massive brain freeze holy crap oh my god it hurts so bad oh it hurts so bad you guys what is this person doing they're driving the wrong way on the roundabout in front of me okay Whew. that was that was a sitch <laughs> that was a real situation we just had together I literally thought I might die for a second. Like, I actually was like, okay, thank God there's someone parked next to me. Hopefully they'll notice. And then I also was thinking this person's driving the wrong way on the roundabout. Hopefully they notice if I die right now. Oh, my God, that hurts so bad. Whew. All right. <laughs> it's just painful. <laughs> I don't know. It's not, it's not it. It's not it. But, I mean, it tastes really good. I'm not going to say that the flavor isn't good. I'm scared to do it again. <laughs> it's good i i would definitely say for starbucks that cold drinks are not their strong suit their strong suit is definitely the warm drinks and i wish i would have got something warm but it's kind of heating up here it's 53 degrees out so i was like i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna do something cold and also i usually love a good frappuccino it's just not my favorite. I wish I would have got something warm but whatever i'll be going again soon because i didn't spend my whole entire gift card so mm it's not bad it's not bad when you actually get the actual flavor of the mocha because the problem is there's not like a lot of mocha in it compared to duncan um but i think i'm also afraid to drink it because of this sweatshirt what was i thinking what was i thinking wearing this there's no way for me to get that glare off my face i'm sorry you guys but what i really wanted to talk to you guys about is that i encourage you guys to do this because the other day i was kind of getting down on myself i because like I haven't done much like okay in certain aspects of my life I don't think I'm that far different than I was last year at this time I'm just gonna scoot over and maybe that'll work for you guys I'm, I'm really frustrated by this coin <laughs> I know you guys aren't gonna give a shit you're gonna be like Jazzy why are you putting so much pressure on yourself here okay there's no fix in this glare we're just living with it we're living life on the edge with the glare okay I decided the only real way to get rid of my 
frustration over the glare is to move you guys <laughs> and make it so that I can't actually see the screen. It's just better for me. <laughs> but I know for you guys, you're still going to see the glare, but whatever. It's, I can live my life better if I don't have to see it. But what I wanted to tell you guys is that I encourage you to really look at your life this past year and like realize how much you've done. So yesterday i don't remember if it was yesterday or the day before i can't remember but dominic and i were talking about it the other day and i was thinking like i don't feel like i'm much further along in most things <laughs> in my life than i was last year and that can be really frustrating as like the year starts to wind down because i just feel it can feel like you wasted your year and um nobody likes that obviously but something Dominic reminded me of was just how much we actually have done this year which is a ton like we have done so much we've traveled a lot we are really happy and that's really what them what matters <laughs> honestly the fact that we're still like as happy as we were last year at this time you guys that have been here a while know that Dominic and I got married last year and like we're still just as happy and like during vlogmas of last year i actually had my um like bachelorette party and everything so like i was on cloud nine last year and i'd say i'm similar like i feel like this whole entire year has been a pretty good year for me in that department um so i feel really good about that and so like he just encouraged me to look at the big scheme of things and don't always look at a year like that you have to be so much further progressed in career in your life like it doesn't always have to be that way it can just be that you had a really good year <laughs> and like we did we had a really great year filled with so many great memories and so many great travels and just we did so many fun things that I think it's so easy to get in our head that we didn't progress enough in certain areas like for me personally it's either with youtube or just like business wise like obviously i would love to have know what i'm doing with my life <laughs> outside of just having a youtube channel like i would love to put my channel to good use like i would love to put my skills that i've learned from starting my youtube channel to good use and i think it's hard to not get in my head over the fact that currently I don't have a job that does that like that's my goal for next year is to hopefully get a job either in editing or get a job like doing something with my channel which my mom had a really great idea and I'm not going to tell you guys about it yet because I want to put it into motion and see what comes of it but I'm really excited about it so that's exciting and I just I want to be more creative in my mindset this coming up year of how I can utilize my skills that isn't necessarily just like editing for other youtubers like that is something that I want to do but at the same time like I also would like to be I would like to find other outlets to use my creative like background at this point and all of the things I've learned from having a youtube channel for the future anyway what I was gonna say is that I lost my train of thought there because I, I started to think about this is a really weird thing for me to have thought about well because I, I think I started to think about <laughs> us going to New York City and then I remember that I haven't told you guys the story about New York City yet I haven't told you the story about the flight so I'm just gonna tell you it now because it'd be wild <laughs> it was really crazy so I um Dominic and I booked our flight for Delta and we um and I think this is also why I've been in my head a little bit like or not even in my head but why that comment affected me the other day um the, the one of the first days of vlogmas I say the other day but the reason was because in the way the reason I had been feeling a little down on myself was because of this interaction you guys are gonna hear it and you're gonna understand and I just know Oh, we've all been through something similar like not maybe to this extreme <laughs> but some of us have been through worse actually or some of you have been through worse than this but anyway for the flight to New York City now this could have totally ruined my trip to be honest because it was pretty horrible what happened so Dominic and I booked our flight and we didn't um, pay for our seats or anything and I reached out to Delta and I was like hey I've had experiences in the past that have been negative regarding my weight on the plane and I said, so is there any way that we could sit next to each other? Now, of course, we should have splurged and paid to sit next to each other. But in my head, I was also like, I can make it work if we can't. Like, I know that I can because I've done it in the past. And so I just hoped that they'd say yes. If they didn't say yes, I would have probably just paid for us to fly. Like, I would have paid for our seats, most likely. Because I really did want to sit next to him, obviously. But I reached out to the lady. She said, oh, yes, of course. Because I said, I said, like, 
I've just had negative experiences and I have like we all have. <laughs> and so she was like, no problem at all. Like we can get you seats next to each other. So she books us seats next to each other. This is where some of you are gonna know what happened and some of you aren't based on what I tell you next. She booked us the exit row seats and that was exciting. <laughs> I was really excited about it. Like I never even would have thought that it would be an issue at all for us to be in the exit row. Other than obviously I'm not going to like help people <laughs> like I'm gonna say I'm gonna help people but I'm obviously not going to help people if like me they need to like be so for real nobody sitting in the X row is actually helping people do board a plane <laughs> they're doing it they're like not helping that's all I have to say but anyway I didn't know that she said do you think you could help people if like necessary if you're in the exit row and I said oh yes of course and I could like if if I really was feeling generous in that moment of life or death <laughs> but regardless I ended up telling her that yes I would do that and so we moved on she obviously knew what I look like because I told her I told her I'm overweight and well I didn't say it like that obviously but I said I've had really bad experiences in the past because I spill into other people's seats basically so she knows that I need a seatbelt extender and but she was great like I'm not saying anything negative about her but obviously I would never know that I needed that this was not a, it's a no-go if you need a seatbelt extender when you are on an airplane like you cannot sit in the exit row apparently but I didn't know that so Dominic and I go in the line to go through to get on the plane Dominic asked for a seatbelt extender which he always does for me he always like right at the front I used to do it I used to just ask for the seatbelt extender because I just it doesn't really embarrass me at all honestly having a seatbelt extender I feel like the planes are too small I don't think it's my fault but <laughs> I uh or the plane seats but um I usually ask for a seatbelt extender but he's started like for the past couple of years now he just asks for a seatbelt extender for me and it's very sweet so he asked the guy the guy gives him a seatbelt extender the guy didn't ask us what seats we were in and normally they do and I never understood why they did that but now I know that it's because if you're in an exit row you can't have a seatbelt extender so anyway he gives him a seatbelt extender we go sit in our seats and I put my on my exit row seatbelt extender on and it fits it works so like a lot of people said that like it shouldn't work in these groups that I'm in. They said like usually the seatbelt extender doesn't even work in that seat and it worked just fine for me. I had no idea anything was wrong. I buckle my seat. Dominic buckles his seat. We're all good to go. The flight attendant goes around and she checks everyone's seats and she makes sure everybody's seatbelts are, are like hooked and everything. She even comes by ours and makes sure ours are hooked and then she keeps walking. Ours are hooked. So we're good. So then we get to the point where she's coming through back to the exit row people and maybe it just didn't register to her before that we were exit row people but regardless she comes back through back to the exit row people. I mean everybody's really watching us I feel but you know how it is when someone embarrasses you you feel like everyone's watching you and they probably aren't but it it was really embarrassing. So she comes back through to the exit row people she asks the people in front of us are you guys good to go in your exit row. She didn't ask them the same question she asked us she just asked are you, like will you be able to help someone and I was listening to her then and then when she came to us next she looks at us and rather than asking us if we'd be okay to help people she said are both of your seatbelts buckled and Dominic and I mean Dominic and I both like I was pumped <laughs> because my seatbelt was buckled like I actually felt so happy because you guys know that feeling like of not being able to buckle your seatbelt so Dominic like lifts his seatbelt to show and then I lift mine and I like have this big smile on my face like I'm actually so angry with how this lady handled this and I still am probably gonna reach out to Delta at some point about it just because there's there's just a way to handle things and I show her mine and she goes did you use a seatbelt extender and like it was the tone of her voice like it wasn't it was just so mean and I was like well yeah I, I did and she said it so loud too like the whole entire like I swear to you everyone was looking because when I turned around to get up and move which I'll tell you guys that part later everyone was staring at us which I guess we were moving so it makes sense but it just was so embarrassing <laughs> and so she goes well did you use a seatbelt extender and I was like yeah I have a seatbelt extender and um she goes you can't have a seatbelt extender in these exit rows you're gonna have to move and I was like oh okay and then she goes it's a tripping hazard and I thought she said choking hazard <laughs> I thought she said it's choking hazard so I was like in my head at that time I was like what the fuck it's a choking hazard <laughs> but 
um like how would it be a choking hazard and um but dominic said she said tripping hazard and like i think she was just doing her job but she just was so loud and like i think she thought i brought my own seatbelt extender and i can understand why she would be angry if that was the case because i brought my own seatbelt extender to try and like con them like i'm sorry you know what i you can see what i look like like so <laughs> i'm not an idiot like i'm gonna know that you know that i'm using my seatbelt extender so why would i do that i wouldn't but i didn't know i had no idea come to find out later you have to like check this box when you're checking your thing to say you don't need a seatbelt extender like when you're choosing your seats but I didn't have that option because I wasn't I wasn't choosing my seats. My people the people chose it for me. So everything kind of aligned to where like to her maybe it looked like I was trying to like play. You guys, <laughs> I'm there's so many things to be upset about right now. <laughs> Let me turn the lights on really quick. Let's see. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. But you guys, <laughs> first of all, what was I thinking? Turning my camera around just because of a glare. <laughs> Like, just because of a glare, I, when I'm wearing this, like, I absolutely was careless in that department. <laughs> Not to mention, then my phone died, and while I'm filming, I don't know what to do about this sweatshirt because I just, I want to spray it. Do you think I should use this? I feel like this might work, but I just don't want to make it blue by using this, but... I gotta do something about this really quick, but you guys have no idea what just happened. Like, I've been sitting out there for, like, probably an hour thinking my phone was filming me, <laughs> telling you guys that story. Like, I went on a whole tangent, like, and I even ended the video. Like, the video is over at this point, <laughs> but because my phone died while it was looking the opposite direction, and I couldn't see that, I don't have any of that footage. Well, it didn't actually die. It, it without a storage so it only filmed what it filmed so i'm gonna tell you guys the rest in a second but we're gonna see if we can get this out i'm really upset you guys i know you guys were watching that when i got this stain on my shirt <laughs> thinking girl you just got too carried away right then and i certainly did so just give me a second i'm gonna spray this up and i think i'm just gonna spray it with this actually what do you, i'm gonna do it right now oh it doesn't come out blue Okay, we're gonna spray it there. Hopefully I don't have any more on me. And then we're just gonna chat while I have it sprayed. Are we good with that? I'm good with it, personally. So what ended up happening was she said, you gotta move. I don't even know where I left off, actually. Let me check really quick. Oh my gosh, you guys, I left you on such a cliffhanger. <laughs> so basically what happened then was I said to her, is there any way my husband can move with me because the whole reason that I ended up with these seats is because I didn't want to impede on anybody else's like flying experience and she's like you're just gonna have to because it, we're not we're gonna have to find two people to move then and I don't think we're even we're already gonna have a hard time finding one to move and I was just like and she was like basically yelling this like I promise you her voice was elevated and it frustrated Dominic so much that like she was she had to have been rude because Dominic usually like he'll say that I'm being sensitive about something but he immediately was like okay well my seatbelt extender or my seatbelt actually I need a seatbelt extender because my seatbelt's way too tight on me now and like that pissed her right off obviously <laughs> but his seatbelt was actually a little bit tight like these these seatbelts are just tight what do you want from us like we need a seatbelt extender I do understand where she was coming from in hindsight when I really think about it and like the fact that obviously she probably thought I brought my own seatbelt extender but then she yells is there anyone we can get to switch spots with them because they are using seatbelt extenders <laughs> and like I'm a, girl, I'm a girl who's confident in my seatbelt extender but it was just like the way she went about it was so unnecessarily rude and I really do need to complain about it you guys like I, I had so much more passion when I was telling you guys about it earlier because I mean I'm repeating what I said already I hate having to do that because I just it's so much more genuine when I don't have to repeat myself <laughs> but okay you guys it didn't come out yet let's see we're gonna spray it just a little bit more anyway moral of the story we had to move. Everybody was staring at us because she yelled basically like to the whole entire plane, will anybody move? And not to mention she was rude as all get out to the people that were going to switch with us. Or like they didn't even offer obviously. Nobody offered. Which I also think is a little bit rude. <laughs> but at the same time, everyone that 
would have offered let's be so for real it's probably plus size because the people behind me that were plus size like were so nice like they made me feel so much better about the experience and that is that goes to show that like anybody can make you can change an experience for you because look at it, it flipped me right back around but had it had i been a younger version of myself that would have fucked me up <laughs> that would have messed me up so bad because i've actually had experiences like we've all had an experience on a plane before but like i've definitely had my fair share with flight attendants specifically and all i have to say about that is like they should definitely have some protocol in place there to be a little kinder like their people should definitely be a little kinder to like everyone in general and not immediately assume that the person is trying to like pull one over on them or whatever like the lady was just so rude and then in the past i had another um experience actually this is why i started my youtube channel to begin with because i was sitting on the plane and i'd already been considering like doing a um youtube channel like already and i think i've told this story in the past actually on here but i had a guy sit next to me and he was a he wasn't actually a bigger guy at all he was like a normal sized dude and he was just like just a regular guy pretty much and he sat next to me he got on his computer right away and was like on his youtube channel and he was showing me well he wasn't even showing me anything i asked him i was like oh is this like your youtube channel and we, we were comfortable next to each other like I was smaller at that time obviously and but he had no issue with me being next to him like we were even chatting it up like we even looked like we could have even been traveling together based on how much conversation we were having and it really pissed me off <laughs> because this flight attendant came up and literally in the middle of the flight and goes hey um would you like to move your seat so that you're a little bit more comfortable to him <laughs> like to him and he's like he looks at her like very confused and he goes i'm perfectly fine where i'm at and she was like oh i just didn't know if you were not comfortable at all and he was like no we're good <laughs> and like i was just i can't understand that what the how they train their people to be so discriminatory discriminatory against plus size people like at the end of the day they created these planes when the seats when people were smaller like what do you want from us like the world is bigger now like that's the way that it is it's been so many years since you've created planes so like for you to discriminate against people that ha are bigger like it's just it just makes me angry everything i said earlier was a lot better than what i'm saying right now but i also told you another story earlier <laughs> about how um this lady it was the first time i ever had this experience actually like where i had like a bad experience with the plane situation this lady um dominic and i were actually traveling for work and we were going to california where we were both going to be like doing big jobs like where we were going to be presenting to big groups of people like i was really nervous because i was going to be talking in front of like a big group of people i was already really insecure at that time like way infinitely more insecure than i am now and i was infinitely smaller i was so much smaller then and i was so nervous so anyway we go to get on our flight with southwest and dominic and i are checking in together like literally we're standing next to each other the lady checks Dominic in. I'm right there with him. Like, it's obvious we are together. And it's Southwest, so now we know that Southwest does give you an extra seat if you're plus size. At the time, it was before that time. It was before we all would know that from, like, TikTok and YouTube and stuff like that. So I didn't know that. So I go up, and the lady, I forget exactly what she said, because I just delete these things from my brain. <laughs> so it's just the easiest way to handle them, because it, sometimes I just think people are so rude and un, it's unnecessary in this situation like it was so obvious Dominic and I were together and she goes she when I came up to check in she goes you um she goes we're gonna give you an extra seat so that you have more room between you and whoever's next to you I looked at her and I go whoever's next to me do you mean this guy who's right next to me right now who sits next to me every single day like I actually didn't say any of that in hindsight I wish I would have but instead I just said okay and then I cried <laughs> it was just so horrible and like now that wouldn't bother me at all because I'd be like hell yeah an extra seat <laughs> but also like I just think it's so sometimes it's so rude the assumptions that people make like about you if you're overweight like that I mean I know that I shouldn't sit next to somebody but I was really small then I easily could have sat next to somebody at that weight so Oh, whatever but she definitely made me think I was a lot bigger than I was <laughs> and she definitely didn't make it a good experience going into like traveling to do a job that I was already nervous about 
but that's the tea on that you guys i'm gonna go wash this and i guess i'll check in with you guys later but i really had so much to say to you guys earlier and i'm sorry that all that footage got deleted because we were really we were really deep diving together and it really went from maybe it's better it happened <laughs> our conversation really went from like happy 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 in the beginning of the vlog to like i mean deep shit <laughs> we were talking about but maybe next time maybe i'll get into it again i just can't do it right now when I, now i have other things to worry about so i'll talk to you guys later all right you guys i'm trying this while my sweater does its thing it's i don't think it's gonna work i really think i'm screwed <laughs> but this is delicious so i definitely recommend the apple cranberry tart from um trader joe's so so yummy you guys <laughs> to tell you on my way in I saw my neighbor and my friend my neighbor and I had that stain on my shirt obviously so I was very preoccupied and she was like what does it say and she was like reading it and I don't think it made any sense to her but she laughed like it did I'm gonna have to text her and explain it's a Taylor Swift lyric but she just like laughed and smiled <laughs> I was like I know this makes no sense to her so I gotta tell her but I'm just out of storage everywhere now. It looks like my computer's out of storage too, which I guess makes sense because my computer is attached to my phone and I just don't have any space. Vlogmas really takes over and it just doesn't, it doesn't give me a lot of space. I just took a body shower as well, by the way. Uh, it was, it needed to happen. <laughs> it needed to happen since this morning, to be honest, but I don't have time this morning. So anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> I'm cozying in to watch this movie that I don't think I've ever seen. But Dominic swears I've seen it. He just came out and he was like, you're watching this one again? And I really don't think I have. But I'll let you guys know how it is and if I remember it. But so far, I don't remember anything. That is my sweater in there. And it is fixed. No stain at all. I put it in the washing machine and it actually got like a little blue stain from the washing machine somehow. I have no idea how that happened. Very frustrating, but I ended up being able to get the blue stain out as well. So we are very excited. Um, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow because it's still like a little bit damp and I've noticed that when things are damp, you really can't tell if the stain is still there. So we will see tomorrow if the stain is still there, but I'm cozying up to do this, do my nightly routine of applying my clear nail polish and um, that's what we're up to you guys. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning with another day of Vlogmas. Love you guys.